Yeah, you know what? This is my beat now, Ray and Micah. World Cup. Alyssa's on it. And this place is quiet right now. But when USA scored that goal earlier today, this place was a madhouse. There were flags waving, fans cheering, beer flowing. This had to be one of the best spots to watch that match. And USA fans had no doubt in their team coming home with a win. Go USA. I hope they dominate. That's what I want them to do. It would be pretty bad if we lost today. I mean, USA win, but goals. Yeah, I agree, goals. USA soccer fans were given exactly what they were hoping for. A USA win over Iran in the team's final Group B matchup of the World Cup tournament. The Globe Bar in Irving Park was shoulder to shoulder on Tuesday afternoon as soccer lovers gathered to watch the day's World Cup matches. When there's like fans from every nation that's here, so we had to get here early to get a table and get to watch the Ecuadorian fans and the Dutch fans. Bartenders catering to all who love the sport, airing the USA versus Iran game in the front half of the bar and the England versus Wales match in the back making for an exciting spot for USA and England fans. I was born in London. They have the best league in the world. I can't wait to see them cook. I'm uh, English, as you can see. We'd love the Wales to come through with us, but uh, maybe the Americans. I don't know. It's going to be an open game. It's going to be a great day. Football's going to be a winner today, or soccer, as you call it. Both England and USA came out with a win, making for an excited crowd and an overall great afternoon at Chicago's favorite soccer pub. Brings the world together. And I did ask one of the bartenders what it's like for them when they get these huge crowds uh, when the World Cup matches are on. She said it's great. The bills are big. The tips are awesome. And, of course, the soccer fans, she told me that they are some of the most polite patrons that they deal with here. So, of course, they're going to have a lot more people coming for matches in the coming weeks. Reporting live at The Globe, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.